Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel! Sally Face Episode 5 is finally out and I am super excited about it. I think it probably should just continue from... If I hit continue, it should just continue from Chapter 5, right? I think this must be what happened at the end, right? Because I remember this and she was like rushing to get to the... Yeah, oh man, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this to come out forever since whenever I finished episode 4. I don't even remember anyone's name. <laughs> I don't remember. I vaguely remember what was happening. I mean, I do remember what was happening. All the weird stuff was happening in the, uh, in the building. It all kind of seemed to rush. The, the plot at the end kind of all seemed to rush together, but... I'm afraid you're too late, honey. They're strapping him in now. Ash, that's right. Wait, he was telling the truth. I have proof, please. Oh, that's right. And the other friend is in the psychiatric ward and the other one's a ghost. And the other one is, I don't know. You, you have to wait. Just let me show you what I found. And, hey. Hey, wait. I've never seen him without his mask before, like even just the lower half. No! Aww. Time of death is 6.33 p.m. Sal, oh god, no! Sorry if there's weird noises in the background that you hear. I've just started wa my washing machine. Exit. I don't want to exit just yet. Megan Holmes. Daughter of Luke and Stacy Holmes. Born 1980, died 1987. Wife of Luke Holmes. Mother of Megan Holmes. Born 1948, died 1987. Husband of Stacy Holmes. They all died in 87. Father of Megan Holmes. Hmm. Oops. Stuff. Three pyramids of Asintma. Do I know what those are? I don't know. I was just saying I want the buttons to see what I could bring up. Cassandra Sanderson. Sanderson! We know that name. Mrs. Sanderson. Mr. Sanderson? Loving wife to Herman Sanderson, 1951 to 1992. Loving husband to Cassandra, 1945 to 1999. Robert Silva, Rot in Pieces, 69 to 99. Morrison. Ray and Janice's shared grave. Even death couldn't keep these two apart. Wait. Were those the hippies, people? Chug. Son, husband, father, friend, 1977 99. Hey, Chug, miss you, dude. Where? Soda also died. Everyone in the building died. I can't. Son of Lisa and Jim Johnson, 1976-1999. They never did find Larry's body. Lisa Johnson Fisher. Mother of Larry Johnson, wife of Henry Fisher, 1956-1999. Lisa was always so nice to me. She treated me like family. Literally everyone in the apartments died. Husband of Lisa Johnson Fisher. Father to Sal Fisher, 1947-1999. I can't imagine how much this hurt Sal. Uh, I'm not controlling you. I'm not sure where you're walking. I don't know what's up with this wonky Xbox controller. There. Son of Henry and Diane Fisher, 1976-2004. So it's 2004 now. I wish you were here, Sal. Huh. Why did everyone die? And the mask is cracked. Sorry I haven't visited in a few nights. Things have gotten worse. Dang. Mysterious. It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. I hope he's okay. He's gotta be under that darn church. It's one of the places we haven't been able to get to. They're down there. I know they are. And they have my Todd. Did you get the rest of that C4 from your- <laughs> Casual, like, C4. Did you get the rest of that C4 from your army friend? 
Oh, I got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so, yeah. We should go Tuesday night. That's when they're least active. Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there... We won't. We're gonna get Todd and then blow this place to bits. Neil, I'm serious. So am I, but if we get caught then, yeah, we take them down with us. I'm ready. Good. At least one of us is. Oh, that's right, there was the cult. That's right, I had 100% forgot that. Oh. Summary of cultist notes 03020. Is that like March to May or the 3rd to the 5th? Todd. He's been infected by the dark. This has occurred in other people across Knockfell and is usually brought on by the devourers of God. Other findings suggest that this process may also be able to take place naturally without intervention from occult rituals. At first, we were able to speak with Todd. Sorry, I was just checking the time. I looked at it twice, I forgot what time it was already. At first, we were able to speak with Todd and we and were able to get some information from him. Over time, the darkness spread and Todd lost that lucidity. Now he's escaped from the hospital with the help from the cult. Luckily, they want him alive. So he's safe there until we can figure out how to break him out. In the meantime, we have we have continued Todd's work on finding a cure to reverse the infection and cleanse the possessed body. I believe we are close to figuring it out. We just need a bit more time. Mysterious Mailer. A cultist inside providing helpful intel, but who is it, and why are they betraying the cult to help us? We still don't know the answers to these questions, though we wouldn't have gotten this far without their assistance. They've provided us with details about cult operations and locations, albeit in vague, quickly scribbled notes. Phelps Ministry. It's not simply an old church that sits on Chapel Hill. The church is the entry point for the main temple of the Devourers. After the mysterious destruction of the Addison Temple, the Phelps Temple was heavily guarded for a while. Eventually, the security loosened up. It's our suspicion that this is due to the cult having indoctrinated the majority, if not all, of the local government leaders. We have to be careful of who we trust. Interesting. Have you fed Maple yet? I tried. She's still not eating. I'll see if I have any luck. Do you need a hand? Nah, I've got it. Who's Maple? Did you bring the new package back to the shed? Yup. You think you found a connection with Todd's work? I think it's something big. A missing piece I've been wondering about. I hope you're right. We're due for some good luck. Be right back. What's that? Nothing I can grab. Let's go downstairs. Who or what is Maple? Is it a dog? I would like... Oh. I thought Maple was the plant for a second. Dog? Is there a dog? Oh, I'll go out the front door later. Coffee? Nothing? This was Sal's room, wasn't it? What's that? Photo. Oh, no. I remember taking this photo. It was after Larry's dad left. Larry and his mom stayed with his grandmother for a few years. They lived down the road from me. That's when we became good friends. Oh, so sad. That's right. Not everything always pops up when I can interact with it. I have to get used to spamming. Uh, <laughs> interact again. Alright. Gizmo! Oh, that's right. That was Sal's cat. Hey, Gizmo. Hi, Gizmo. You need anything? He hasn't left your room since the execution. It's like he knows. Oh. Wait. Does Sally have fake eyes over here? What is all this? Oh, Gizmo. Oh, that was Sally's room. Nothing around here. Basement. What? Maple. Hey, Maple, how are you today? Who's Maple? Is that someone we knew? Neil and I are going to get Todd back soon. We may have to stick him in with you, at least until we can figure out a better solution. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I've got to run out to the shed real quick, but when I get back, when I get back in, we'll get you some nice warm soup. Who is Maple, and why do you have them trapped? Whoa! Notes on Maple's corruption. Maple has become a threat to herself and others, and had to be locked up. Day one. Day seven. Most of the time, Maple remains conscious and alert. She is grateful that we are working to find a way to help her. Day eleven. The corruption seems to be most active at night. Today, we reinforced the cage and added restraints for everyone's safety. Maple didn't love the idea of restraints, but understood why they were needed. Day 20. 
The infection is getting worse. We're only able to speak to Maple about 50% of the time. The rest of the time she acts like some kind of demon or something driven by violence. Day 32. Maple has become dif difficult to interact with at all, and her physical appearance has begun to change. Day 39. She started screaming during the night and didn't stop until her throat bled. Day 42. The screaming has continued the past few nights. Luckily, no one lives close enough to hear it, and the basement muffles most, most of the sound anyway. Day 45. Her screaming finally stopped, but she's not looking so great. Day 46. We can't get her to eat anything. Day 51. She's still refusing to eat. We've been force-feeding her as much as we can, but it's very difficult. Day 64. Maple is starting to smell pretty bad. Still not eating. Dang. Exit. Is this out back? Okay. Um... Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's not it. Oh, right. It's... Okay. Whoa. Todd's notes. The final prophecy of Sitlali Gray. A rough and in an incomplete, transla in incomplete translation. The blue flame, not extinguished, still flickers in the night. He see... He that sees between worlds, child of the abomination, wielding light beyond man, pierces through the endless black, betrayer of our kind, resurrected by Asintma. His sword, blood of man, rises to protect the great atrocity and prevent the triumph of humankind. Notes. Sitlali, a Native American seer, orig origin unknown, previous council members of the Devourers of God, possibly of the original formation. Asintma is referring to a collection of three pyramids. Oh, that's what I'm holding. I have obtained one of them and have been searching for the other two. I'm not sure exactly who the child of the abomination is, but if they're an enemy of the cult, they could be a much needed ally. Hmm. Every day we will find them per Aspera ad Astra. Oh, no, not yet. I Well, I guess yes, grab it. There wasn't anything else to do except try the front door. We got these weird pyramids thing pyramid things in the mail. Another package from our mysterious cultist insider. Todd had a third pyramid in the shed. In his notes, he says he found it in the temple under the old apartments. They seem to be pretty important. There are several mentions of a prophecy in Todd's notes about them. He was actively looking for the other two. I think they might be linked to you somehow. Are you the child of the abomination? Hmm. No matter how I turn these, nothing happens. I thought something would happen this time. Sal, there's something else I need to tell you. The replacements were sloppy at first, but they're getting better now. It's harder to tell the difference. I can't trust anyone. These things creep me out, dude. They aren't human. I know what you mean. So, you think that pyramid thing that Todd found could help us find Sal? It seems like it. I pieced together what I could what I could find out about the old cult prophecies, and from what I can tell, there are three pyramids that will summon their destruction. All signs point to Sal as the one who can stop them. I'm not sure how or why, but it's the best chance we have. I always knew Sally Face would do great things. Don't give up on him, Ash. You have to find him. I assume they mean his ghost. Those are... Horrifying paintings on the right, I just noticed. The painting and whatever... Oh, it's, it's maybe a sad face on the door, but it looks like a giant open mouth. I won't, ever. I just need to find the other two pyramids. Once I'm free from this fucking treehouse, I'll help you find them. Larry, I don't know if this is a good idea. What if burning down the treehouse only makes things worse? Trust me, it can't get any worse. I can't live like this anymore. Or, you know, not live, but whatever. I can't stay stuck in this place. You don't know what it's like. It's torture. I can feel it changing me. Nothing else has worked to break the binding spell. What if you end up in the black room instead of being free? Your soul will dissolve into the darkness. We don't know that for sure, and even so, the nothingness would be better than existing in existing like this. Please, Ash, you have to help me. If I do this, you have to promise me you'll be okay. Promise me you won't fade away. I promise. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that tree got much taller than it used to be. Oh no, what happened to Larry? 
I went back to the burnt tree every night for weeks. He's just... gone. Oh no. I can't bring myself to go anymore. Another screw-up in a long list of my failures. But it's what Larry wanted. I can understand not wanting to be trapped there. Hmm. This morning... Wait. How did Larry die? Did we ever figure that out? This morning I went over to Neil's place, but... Uh-oh. But what? Hello, Neil! You home? Uh-oh. Any other notes? Nope. His bag is here. I grabbed the C4 from Neil's bag since we were supposed to go to the temple that night. Lot of C4! Oop, how do I get out? There. Todd's notes. The Legend of the Greys. The Grey family is a tribe of Native Americans, but there aren't many historical records of them. Even though there are relatives of the Greys living in Knockfell today, their ancestry appears to be more legend than fact. It is said that their family was formed when a great owl swooped down from the night sky and made love to a man who was lost in the woods. Weeks later, a beautiful young woman burst, from, burst out from inside the man. A nearby pack of wolves came to eat the bits of flesh of the man. By eating this flesh, the wolves became indebted to the young woman. Over time, the pack became human, and together with the young woman formed the first members of the Grey tribe. Descendants of the women are said to have the ability to see the future. Huh. The origin story was likely fabricated and then evolved over time. However, there may be a grain of truth to, pro to the proclamation of psychic abilities. The slaughtering of the children. August 16th, 1984. 255 children and 32 adults were murdered across North America. Holy sh- that's a lot. However, surprisingly, it didn't make many headlines. The story was covered here and there, but not by any major news outlet. It is now my understanding that the cult had something to do with this and was likely the orchestrator of the whole thing. If true, that could mean their reach extends much further than we expected. A terrifying thought. Wow, this story got dork. It kind of used to be a little bit creepy, but it's like way darker now. It's it's like uh, it's like Harry Potter, where it just kind of it starts off like lighthearted and then just gets like darker and darker and darker and creepier. All right, not yet. Can't go out. Let's see what's in here. This is my room, right? Or this was someone's room. That's oh, it, was it his room? I can't remember when he died. It's been so long since I played it, and I haven't- I, I, boot, I booted up Steam to play Abduction, and I saw this is out, and I immediately played this instead. You okay, buddy? For obvious reasons. I've been waiting for this to come out forever. Hmm. Should I go- Oh, bathroom! I didn't come in here before. I thought this was the back door. Excuse Hey, can we comment on what that is? Uh... Uh, hey, Ash? Hey, Ash? Okay, we're not gonna comment on that. I guess. Ooh! Ooh! Crap, this isn't good. That sounded like the front door. Not going out up up there. Alright, nothing seems to be different in here. I guess I have to go out the front door. Uh do you think it's maple? I'm not sure how this house works, because I went downstairs, but the front door is also level with the ground, isn't it? Please don't jump scare me. Don't like jump scares. Uh, okay. Not yet. What? You said it would sound like the front door. What? Wait a second. Letter? Where? There was a note left- oh. There it is, on the table. <laughs> Blurry. There was a note left on the table for me. Ash, they have 
Maple, and Neil, you need to move quickly. The temple is lightly guarded today. Sneak into the entrance I told you about, about before. Once you get into the main chamber, you'll have to act stealthily. There are four pillars with insets that hold sacred jars. If you place the explosives there, it's sure to bring down the whole place. Stick them behind the jars and they'll be safe. It's forbidden to touch those jars. Be careful and good luck. On the back of the letter, there was a hand-drawn map with the location of the jars. I didn't waste any time. I went to the temple right away. Phelps Ministry. Established 1703. We walked past this before, didn't we? Yeek. Oh, hey, we've been here, huh? Do not enter. Okay, so... This is where I came in. I go in here. And there should be... This is where I'm not supposed to enter, right? Wait. Is it one of these that I put the C4 on? Uh, I'm a bit confused by the map. Ah, uh, you're just gonna keep walking? Apparently. Hi. I'm assuming you can't see me unless I'm directly in front of you. Ah. I see. North Hall, okay. Oh, hi. Without the factory, we will lose more members. Ever since the fire, his orders have been increasingly erratic. How many senators? Shh, don't talk like that. Do you want to end up like the Packertons? Everything will work out. Just have faith, sister. The dissension will soon be upon us. Alrighty. Okay, so, oh, that's the one I did. Uh, I need to go in one more, apparently. I'm on the outside. Well, I guess I can maybe go around. Hi. S door. Where is that door on here? Should I go in the door? I don't know what their, like, visual range is. I'm just gonna stop to be safe. East Hall. Okay, cool. And then there's some um, here. Perfect. Oh, here, there. It's okay. Alright, so I need to go in one more to get to the C4. What's that? On the floor. Oh, it's another one of these things. Do I need to take a picture of these? Um... Oh no, I need to get into the inner one. Do I need to wait? Will something happen if I just look at it? I, this sound makes me uncomfortable. I don't know what to do about you. I think I need to walk left. But there was a dude here a second ago, right? Hi. Are you not moving? Hmm. I can't open the doors. I see... Okay. Hmm. So I see the doors on the map, but I don't know what to do about them. Oh, maybe I can come in here and get to the place where I need to go. I- 
don't even know where I am anymore. I'm very confused. Don't you do that. Oh gosh, I she moved on her own. My controller just moved her on her own. That scared the bejesus. Oh, I have to do it again. <sighs> you piece of poo controller. All right, well, that's good to know. That's all that happens. I'm on the... I tapped it. No, I know it'd be paranoid of everything. It's fine, it wasn't that way. Center chamber, no, can you do it? Please, it's the floor. So far, so good. Oh, these do doors are far. I don't know the d English. I don't know what the doors are for unless they're just to help orient me, which could be it. Controller, you've made me so paranoid. Do you walk this way more? I don't remember. No, this is the back, the East Hall. Here we go. Alright, I just saw you walk that way. Wait, do I need to go in the inner east hall? Wait, how have I done those two? I am very confused about this map. I'm gonna look at this again for good measure. Hello. South hall. Wait. I'm in south hall. I'm very confused about the map now. Wait, this is the, the entrance hall. Right. So this is the east hall. There's one I need to get on the inside here. Okay, so let's try this door. See, she did it again. I did not move you. I'm just gonna slowly walk left. Oh yeah, but you were just- someone was just standing here before. Unless you're the informant, like the person who's helping me. But I don't think you are. I was gonna try it from this side. But I think this is the same. You're just standing there. If I- forward. I don't see, like, the space for C4 even on the other side. Nope! Don't you walk without my permission! That's why. Alright, well, now I know that you do it, I can kind of preemptively watch out for what you're about to do. Nope. Nope. Stop it! Controller! Inner West Hall. Okay. I'm on the Inner West Hall. I don't think I want to be on the Inner West Hall, do I? Doors are all locked. Okay, stop. That's the center chamber, which I don't want to go to. Okay, that's where some C4 is. I did that one already. Hmm. I don't know how to get to that one on the other side. This is the west hall, which I need to... there. Perfect. Oops, I better move from the spot quickly. Okay, let's go. Ah, did that move the other guy then, maybe? Oh, I- what? That was so fast! Ugh. I'll be back. Oh, you're not moving now. Interesting. So I knocked over the C4 here, or the 
I knocked over this here. But now I'm trapped? I'm trapped in the top right corner. Well, that's not fair. Alright, so... That wasn't fair. How do I... Which one do I need to do last, then? <sighs> that's annoying. I don't know what to do about that. Alright, the West Hall is the last one that I have to do now. Which way should I run? I feel like I should go in the place on the right so I can get into that door, maybe. Right. Nope, still locked. Okay. I'm here now. I should... I don't know. Let's see what happens. What is this? Oh, there's a guy. Are you gonna move or are you gonna stay there? Are you sure you're gonna move? Because you got me last time. Is that the central... That's the central chamber. It's where I don't want to be, though. Dang it. Alright. I keep thinking I'm reading this map right, and then I definitely mess myself up. What's this room? What's this? What's this? West Hall. West Hall's good. West Hall's not good. West Hall's where I was. Oh, wait. What if I can go... Oh, hi. Just go away. I'm stuck again. I don't understand what I'm supposed to... Maybe I'm supposed to do that in the left one first. Or last, I guess. Alright, I'll be back again. Alright. I can't open this door still, right? Nope. Okay. North Hall. I'm in the North Hall. I want to go to the... I'm very paranoid about doorways right now. Move on. Yes. I don't know how that other guy got me the first time. He definitely moved on. Okay, I want to go to the inner east hallway. Good. I'm gonna wait for a second to make sure. Okay. That's all of them. Thank goodness. Dungeon. Ash? Oh, hey. Neil, are you okay? Oh, I've had better days. How the heck did you get in here? I'll tell you later. Right now we gotta get you out of there. What are, uh, what about Maple and Todd? Have you seen them? Maple is in the next cell over, and Todd is here. I saw him when they dragged us here. Hey, Maple. <laughs> they have Todd in a different room. I'm not sure where, though. They knocked me on the head pretty hard. Ash, I... Oh, my laundry scared me. Ash, I think something big is going down real soon. Something bad. Okay. Did you see where they put the keys? I'll get you out and then we can grab Maple and Todd. One of the guards has the keys, but it's too dangerous. Even if you could somehow get it, you and I aren't going to be able to handle Maple and Todd. They're too far gone. We can do it. I know we can. I think it's time for plan B. Neil, no. Save yourself, Ash. Someone has to live through this. I'm not leaving you guys down here. I can't lose any more friends. I don't think we have any other option. Uh-oh. You there! Ah, beans! Crap, wait, I know that voice. Who are you? 
Travis! You need to leave. If they catch you here, it won't end well. You look horrible, dude. What happened to you? Don't act like you'd give a shit about me. Just get out of here. Come on, man. You can help us get Mabel and Todd. Let's all get out of here together. Trust me when I say it's beyond impossible. I know there's some good in you, Travis. Sal saw it too. He stood up for you when no one else would. You know he did. Do this for him. Sal is dead, and so will y and you will be too if you stay here any longer. Damn it! Why would you help us? I'm trying to. He's right, Ash. You should go. But it's okay. I've made my peace with it. I'll finally be with my Todd again. <laughs> That's so sad. Travis pretty much had to drag me out of there. I didn't want to go, even though I knew they were right. And I know we planned to blow the temple up, even if we failed, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to press that button, knowing that our friends are down there. Oh. If you're out there, somewhere, please, Sal, I need your help. Please. You can't be gone. Oh, that's so sad. She... She was dragged into this by them, also. Well, I'm willingly, but... Ooh, spooky! Spooky lightning! Episode 5, Memories and Dreams! What was that? What is that? It's happening again. The flashes. What am I? You are unbound. You are broken. You must balance yourself. Fight the chaos within. Don't let your nightmares infect your reality, Sal. Find your center. Don't listen to them, Sal. You must give in to your dreams, give in to the chaos to reach your full potential. It's too dangerous. He's not ready. Follow your heart, child. No, listen to your mind. Where am I? You are everywhere and nowhere. Who are you? We are everything. And nothing? And nothing. Called it. Have I been here before? You have always been here. Ugh, never mind. Oh, I'm slow. I don't know which way to go. I guess let's go left. No, it's a platformer. Maybe we should go right. Final answer. Well, look at me. I'm like... Sal and a few other people all scribble looking together. I can't... Is there something I'm supposed to do? No, I have no stuff. Wow, those are cool looking little orbs. Is that my house? Oh, oh I didn't read what it said. Well, that looks ominous. Upstairs or the white room. Let's go upstairs. I'm never sure- oh, I'm never sure what to do with Sal. What is that? Uh, hello? I'm glad you remembered where I was. Do I know you? We've spoken many times, Sal. Alright, are you gonna be- are you gonna be as cryptic as the voices- hold on, Jim? I was one- oh, Jim Johnson. I was once. Well, part of me was. I've made many sacrifices to get here, and I've lost so much along the way. I guess that's a yes on the cryptic thing, then. I'm so sorry about your family. Evelyn, Larry, Lisa... Yes, I used to be as well. There was a time when I thought I could save them by changing the future. It was all I wanted. Lisa and Larry were the light of my life. I had never known such a deep love. I do not hold you responsible for their deaths. I understand what had to be done. You lost a lot that day, too. But is the... Oh, that's right. I killed everyone in the apartment. Oh, I totally forgot about that. But it is the nature of life. All living things must come to an end. I remember what it was like to live, to feel. I do not miss the constant cloud of emotions. It was all for nothing, though. The shadows still live, and the devourers are going to call forth the plague. Their reach has grown too far. I stopped nothing. I died for nothing. I killed for nothing. You can still stop them if you wish to. In fact, you are the key to their destruction, if that means anything to you now. Is this that prophecy nonsense again? I don't think I'm much of a chosen hero. I couldn't save anyone. There are no chosen heroes, only those who choose to do heroic acts. Win or lose, light or dark, 
good or evil. These things don't hold much significance to me anymore, but I would still like to help you if you so choose. How can I do anything like this? Upon dying, your soul was shattered. This occurrence has awakened a unique ability within you. You will be able to drift into parallel world worlds, though it will take some practice. How do I get back to my world? It will be difficult, but I have prepared for your arrival. I built a device to help you. Your friend Ashley has gathered the device above your garden in your world. This is good. Oh, sorry, no. Your friend Ashley has gathered the device above your grave in your world. This is good. However, there are more components, and they must be aligned across the three realities that they have been hidden in. The three pyramids of Asintma As are each sealed within three puzzles. You must gather them all. If you hid these pyramids of ass in maw or whatever, can't you just grab them for me? That is not possible. I can no longer intervene in such matters. I have also erased the solutions from my memories in case anyone tried to steal them. Of course you did. However, I can guide you to their locations. Okay, well that will save some time at least. Where do I start? There used to be a door here. Just a second. Um, there it is. Oh. You'll find your way through that door. Keep your wits about you. You must gather three pyramids. Oh, okay. Should I go see what the light room is about? I'm never sure what will trigger something. Oh. Well, now that I see there's a black room, I want to go in the light room less. Hmm. Let's go through this door first. Oh, nope, that was wrong. Two. All right, I, I guess. Beam me up. I'm afraid moving still isn't an option for us. The house has been on the market since, well, four years now. It's an important step that I hope you will be able to take soon. In the meantime, I believe that the cat will be of some great comfort to Sal. Zimbardo. He's shown a lot of improvement over the past month after he was assigned the kitten. Oh, that's Gizmo. Are you sure he's ready to come home? He is more than ready. Henry, are you sure you're ready? Yeah, it will be good to have my son back. We still don't know what happened except it had something to do with his what? <laughs> what? Well, this isn't what I was expecting. You have awakened a new soul connection. You may find it a bit strange at first. Actually, it, fr it feels pretty natural, like I've been here the whole time. Like waking from a dream. In the beginning, I found the odd sense of familiarity to be unsettling, but I am not like you. You'll find the first pyramid somewhere in this house. On it! I don't... Oh! Looks like a letter from Ashley. Sal, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before. I really wanted to. I tried so hard to be there for everyone, and now it's all falling apart. I hope it's not too late to fix things. I hope that I can somehow make up for my mistakes. I need you to know that I... It just ends there. Something must have interrupted her. The sounds are weird, too. Um, let's talk about the front door. I can't leave, I have to find that pyramid. Okay, well, that makes it easy. Okay. Mm mmm, Todd's room. It sealed shut loudly. This is... Okay. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, whoops. What? But it's red. Okay. Oh, did that open Todd's room? Dunno. Okay. That's creepier than the music playing in the background, which is pretty dang creepy already. What's that? Oh, <gasps> it's number two. I still don't know what those are. Okay, well, there's... Besides that, and... Oh no, mask is bad!
that's cute. And horrifying. Sal looks... Or maybe it's, it must just be the mask. The mask is horrifying. Larry kind of looks the same, honestly. 5023. Thanks. Uh, it's jammed shut. Oops, I was just spam clicking. Oh. 7842. Well, let's try 7842 first. 7842. What was the other one? 5023. Five zero two three. Five zero two three. Was it seven eight zero four? Uh, all right. Let me take a picture of the two. Let me get my trusty phone. Seven eight four two. My mistake. All right. Back to the. Oops. Shoot. Closed out of it. Back to the living room. Let's try 5023-7804. Oops. This one. Five... Let me make sure I'm typing it right. Five... Zero... Two... Three... Seven... Eight... Four... Two. Seven... Eight... Four... Two... Five zero two three. Let's just try seven eight four two. So did I type in zero seven eight four two? Okay, well let's add them together. That will be too big of a number, won't it? Seven eight four two plus five zero two three. Well, oops, will be too big. Seven eight four two plus five zero two three. Whoops. Seven, eight, four, two, plus five, zero, two, three. Let's try it, it though. One, two, eight, six, five. All right, let's subtract it. Um, seven, eight, four, two, minus five, zero, two, three, equals two, eight, one, wait, no. I did that wrong. Two, eight, one, nine. It says plus 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 at the top of this, uh, at the top. I don't know what top plus 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 means though. There's also 145. Seven, eight, four, two, plus five, zero, two, three, plus 145 equals 13,010. Oops, I didn't, I didn't want to read that again. I'm spam clicking again. All right, let's try 13,010. One, three, zero, one, zero. Ah, dang. Okay, I'm glad I saw the plus plus at the top. It was the only giveaway. Sweet. There it is! Alright! Sal? Ooh. Ooh! We already... Yeah, we already looked at these. Oh, chug. Sal, is that you? It's me. You sound faint. Why is your ghost like this? How is this possible? There's so many things I want to tell you. The pyramids. Oh, one of them is glowing now. This is closer to what Todd had in his notes. Let me take a look. The three- oh my gosh. To be arranged around the corpse- to be placed around a corpse, these symbols are kind of like code. What are they? Okie dokie. Oh wait, I think I, I get it. North. Uh, 
I, I don't know. I can't tell what's happening. Okay, so this is a north one. So I just need to... Okay, let me take a picture of these in case it doesn't. Let me do it later. So I think what I understand is I just need to find the symbol that corresponds to the symbol for north because this is the one on the north. So this, the half white circle, the half black circle, the half white circle, the half black circle, the half white circle. Place. Ah, I did it wrong the first time. Ooh, that is horrible. You did it, Ash. Oh, back here again. Well, on to the next one. I still don't know if I should go up or not. So we finished two. Ah, interesting. Okay. There's a lot of secret doors locked. Wait, can I walk any further? All right, what about door five? Ooh. All right, Sal, we got some se secrets here. Okay, well, I've been recording this for, I think, about an hour. So I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Let's pop into door three and hope it saves. All right, that's fine. We'll walk into this beam of light. Let's see where we are. Oh, Dad! Dad, when will Mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she'll recognize me with my new face? God damn it, Sal. Can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mom isn't coming home. What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. That's enough, Sal. Interesting. Aw, buddy. I chose the pink one because that's mom's favorite color. I hope she'll recognize me with it on. <laughs> so, my poor heart, I can't take it. Holy cow, what? I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out in these woods, searching for some evidence that this is real, that I wasn't losing my mind. The council went to great lengths covering it up. They had hidden it with a concealing spell, as they called it. Of course, what they consider magic is merely science that they don't understand. That makes sense, though I have to be honest. It's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. Oh, that was the two of them talking. I can go three directional. What is this madness? I'm gonna have to end it here because this... <laughs> This is too weird. I don't know if these are styles from other games, or if this is all just original Sally being original Sally. I like the music here, though. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's so good to be back. My boyfriend will be home soon. That's who messaged me a second ago, so I'll have to uh, record later. I'm going to Osaka for a Christmas party tomorrow. Maybe Sunday. We'll see. I'll record more, hopefully, before I leave for Vietnam for Christmas. Um, thank you all for joining me in this episode of Sally Face. I'm so excited to, that the game came out. I totally forgot it was coming out. I turned on Steam and saw that I had downloads and I was like, oh, what's updating? It was Sally Face. I'm so excited. So let me know if you guys have questions, comments down below. No spoilers, please, as always. Um, thank you all again for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye.